877-373-9766. Let's go out to Thomas or Tomas in line one in uh, Lynn in Massachusetts, W-I-L-D. Yes, how are you doing, sir? Good, good. How are you, sir? Good. Here's who I'd like to see go to jail. Mm-hmm. What about CIA Director Bush Sr., who was friends with Saddam Hussein um, during the Iran-Iraq War, who betrayed him during the Iran-Contra scandal, which led to George Bush Jr. taking revenge on Saddam Hussein, which led to the death of innocent U.S. soldiers and Iraqi soldiers, which is a war crime. How about that? You know, you know what? I totally agree with you, man. You, look, you, uh, hey, you ain't getting no argument out of the number one truth right in America on that. Right. <laughs> you know, hey, look, look, I'll be there. I, look, I'll do a citizen's arrest on one of the bushes. <laughs> it ain't even got to be the real police. <laughs> you know, I look. Community arrest. Hey, I, I, hey look, look, I'm going to tell you, uh, I, I was in Chicago maybe about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and I was, uh, I, I went to a birthday party uh, mm. for one of my boys I grew up with. All right. And um, the cats I grew up with are still in the street. They're not, you know, they're not doctors or lawyers or... or Some even, of them veterans, probably. They're not even legitimate business people, but mm. uh, they're, they're very much into politics. And they like, look... They like somebody need to go and really have just a sit down with Bush because Bush is is out here. Him and his family, they out here like they're a gang, man. They 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 doing stuff that gangsters do. That's exactly what they're doing. Exactly. Hey, Tomas, but I agree with you, brother. Thank you for the call. Love you guys in 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 Boston. W I L D. Okay, let's go to Lee in Boston. What up, Lee? Hey, Juan, what's up? You got it, brother. Hey man, I, well I, I gotta tell you man, you 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 just like you got a little bit of Martin and Malcolm in you man, and you know when to bring them out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 got, I mean, I got a feeling, man. If, if you, I mean, man, if you came out there in slavery time, you probably would have been one of them stubborn slaves, man. Man, I'd have been Nat Turner. I'm gonna tell you who I'd have been because Nat Turner was actually Nat Turner was was brilliant <laughs> and he was a preacher. And, but he when when he couldn't take no more, he just said, "Hey, look, hey, if you gonna kill us, we gonna kill you." And I would have yeah. been that Turner. I'm gonna tell you. Right, right. No, I, I can tell, man. You know, because a lot of stuff you say, man, I got it in my mind, and I don't even gotta say anything because you say it for me. But as far as who I think should go to jail, man, you hit it right on. I tell, I mean, you actually being nice to George Bush because I think he should be treated like the dumb. Uh, because George Bush, man, um, I'm like I'm surprised that the United Nations ain't coming together to say, you know what, this man committed war crimes. Let's see if we can um, um, put together some kind of a uh, uh, trial going and, and you know and, and charge him with war crime because too many people lost their lives under his watch. You know what I mean? Yep. I, you know, I, I I agree with you, man. I, I honestly, let me just be honest with you. If it, if I was if I was in charge of everything, I would take George Bush in the middle of each. I would take him around the country, city to city, and take him downtown in each city and just beat his ass in front of everybody. That's right, exactly right, what right. I would do. <laughs> <laughs> I would haze. I would haze George Bush downtown in every city across the country to let folks see this man getting what he deserves. I'm, yeah, hey, man, I'm, I'm a citizen. I know you got to go. You know, man, too many people lost their lives. Over a half a million people, or probably more, lost their lives in Iraq. The 5,000 soldiers, the man who got his head beheaded, all on George Bush's watch. The country spending, like, what, like $10 billion a week in a, in a stupid war? Yep. So, I mean, Bush should be held accountable for something. I always stress that to whoever I talk to. I said, I'm surprised this man ain't being held accountable for anything. You know, so, you know, I, mean, I agree with you. I think George Bush should go to jail. Hey, I, think, I think he should be executed. Hey, Lee, I thank you for the call, brother. God bless you, man. Love you guys in Boston. See, I, people think I'm crazy because I, I literally, I would, I would do him like they do over in China. I'll put you in the middle of the street and just whip that butt for all everybody to see. And then what I do after I beat him, I'll be like, all right, anybody who want to come and get a lick, come on up here. <laughs>